and greetings and salutations. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. So here I have, um, it seems like the audio is a little on the loud side. So here I have um, a re-roll. I was doing the Oathbreaker, but the problem with the Oathbreaker is that the um, it's so painfully slow to play. And so after I got to about level 25, and, and a lot of the skills are, are very, very parallel to how the warrior is, uh, is set up. And the, the warrior has, has the impression that it actually does a lot better with AoE. And so uh, I've gotten up to, I think, a level 85 warrior in the past. Let me turn the audio down a little bit. Option. Audio. Uh, master vol. It feels, it, feels, it feels overly loud. Okay. There we go. So, um, I rerolled the Necromancer. I had a I had a level sixty five Necromancer, but I just wanted to start a new one because it it's probably been over a year since I played it, and I wanted to re familiarize myself with um, with the build out and kind of uh, I think they've altered some of the skill set. So here, when I go into the tree, uh, that's not the tree. Here, when I go into the tree, I've really just been focusing on summoning uh, undead legion, undead skeleton pets, a race skeleton. And putting maxing these out, and I just put like you know, I just did one, one, and one in here. And that's it. Uh, and I just put enough points. And so here down in the bottom corner, you'll see uh, my kind of little buff. And this is how you display how many uh, skeletons you summon. And so it's seven. I can summon up to seven right now. But the kind of the the, the takeaway from this, there's just two parts to this video. One is I really wanted to kind of showcase the boss fight. And this is the warden. And the warden is kind of like the um, the boss that exists in every action RPG. You know, in Diablo, it's the butcher. I think in uh, Path of Exile, it's the warden also. And so this this character exists along uh, a plethora of all these action RPGs. But the the gameplay is so much better with the pets and. and um, and why is the audio so loud? Um, option, let me turn this. It's just like, there we go. Um, but but it's just so much better as with these all these minions, and they have their own ability sets, and they cast spells, and it's it, the combat's quicker. It's more fluid. You're able to kind of speed run dungeons easier because the oath oathbreaker was so painful. So here I'll just kind of showcase some of the fight. You can see all these guys just going to town. And I've really been focusing on um, buffing them up. You know, some of them are melee, some of them are archers. And you can just see they'll just rip through this. Oh, so one kind of pro tip is when you get in here, summon a portal. You're not going to use it, but you're going to summon a portal so that way... Um, if you die, you can just portal back instead of going through the, the, the trouble of running the entire dungeon. So here's your boss. Here's the warden. And he, right now, he's kind of in his human form. And he's got a, uh, an ability set. And what I'm watching around here is I'm watching this six um, and making sure that I keep that number up. I want to keep my skeleton population up. And really what I'm doing is I'm just avoiding... Um, I'm just trying to avoid damage because he's not a super tanky character and so see he went through those skeletons pretty quick and you can see here where a hilt oh I gotta watch watch my own health holy shit I'm not paying attention and you can see the archers like I can kite them around and those archers they do a good job um, they do a really good job of, of uh, so now he's already this is his first death and the ether uh, that's kind of like the main story plot of the game. The ether is um, is has corrupted him. It allows him to kind of have supernatural powers. So I got to kind of watch two things here. It's like that one attack. Oh shit! That one attack. Oh, see, so he got me with his ranged. And this is why we set up the portal. Um, I mean, while I'm doing this, let me let me clear out my inventory and make sure I don't have uh, anything in here that I want to kind of clean this up a little bit. There's a two-handed axe. Uh, that's kind of cool looking. Um, so what I like to do is when I come to town, I always check these guys for scraps because they'll respawn scraps every so often. 
Okay, see, so now I can just do my portal, and the portal will stay up. It won't go away when I re-hit it. Right, and then I'm here in the bottom quarter. I'll summon my, my undead. You know, they, they do a really good job with the animations on the uh, on the undead fighters. I'll let this reset. Right, there's six. Okay. I can't do that yet. Okay, so let's go. I don't, and I don't have any of the buffs yet. So I gotta kinda go. There we go. And there it gives me my seven. And so I'll just spam him with. Um, and there's some ability to heal your pets later on. Gotta do nine. Yeah, I gotta keep. I gotta keep. I don't think there's anything in this room that actually blocks the. Uh, that See that? Okay, that will. That'll actually block. No, it will not. Okay. So that that uh, that wave he does will. Um... Ooh, yeah, that's pretty rough. He he hits hard, and because I'm such kind of a glass can cannon, and what I forgot to do is I can actually summon these guys in town. And um, just let this timer reset here. You can you can tell I'm weak sauce. It was actually easier to kill him with the Oathbreaker because it was single target. Um, and with this single target, it's uh... okay. There we go. Let me get it, just go up here. Teleport right back. And you can see that it's it's uh, he's almost down. Get my my experience back, and I'll just try to burn him. Like he just he just wiped those guys super quick. Oh man, nine. This is gonna be this is gonna be painful. I need really need to do. I really need to spread this guy out to get some more heal tonic. There you go. This is going to be a lot of kiting. Yeah. A lot of kiting. Look at that. Look at that. Sprinted all the way across the map. Oh, wow. Weak sauce. Weak sauce. So, yeah. Yeah. The war. <laughs> Grim Dawn. The Warden. <laughs> get some <laughs> get some but yeah he he go so as he this is the last he basically just goes through the two phases but um he picks up a different ability set as he transforms from the ether you basically when you kill him uh it unlocks his supernatural form and then it, it uh really kind of gets into the ether aspect So I'm trying to spread these guys out so they don't get wiped when he does his his boom his boom thing. Yeah, like that. that so I'm trying to kite do kind of a wide kite. So they'll teleport to me as I That's actually a pretty viable strategy. See how the he'll do his big shocker. And they do they do great damage. There it is. There it is. And you always get the... Oh, I gotta wait for the ether to... There's some kind of residual ether there. So yeah, there's the warden. Um, and as kind of... If it's got a purple item, usually it is a, uh, a quest-related item. The reds are your potions, and your purple are your uh, in like item enchantment. But yeah, thank you for watching.